Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel on this Tuesday. Good news or bad news, it depends, is that tomorrow we have Sassuolo Juve immediately after the really disaster, the loss versus Milan 3-0, it's still hurting, hurting a lot, we will have a chance to play again versus Sassuolo, a difficult game with a lot of obstacles to believe in something that is really hard to still keep faith in. It's like when you are watching a big mountain and you say, will I ever arrive at the top? It will require effort, sacrifice, but especially one thing, belief, mental belief that you will be able to do it. If we don't believe it, we will not do it, never. Before speaking about the intro and going into the Italian and international papers, I wanted to remind something because I was reading the comments on YouTube. I was reading the comments about our beloved Juventus online, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, wherever. The disrespect that I read about our beloved Juventus is unreal. Mamma mia, a drama. What I'm reading is exaggerating. Exaggerating, there is no respect from a certain part of the fans towards our white and black colors. A disaster. What I read, I don't even want to repeat it. And that's why I took an example of Lewandowski. Lewandowski, today he spoke to Tutto Sport, explaining who his idols were when he was a kid. Roberto Baggio, Alessandro Del Piero. What do these two players have in common? The black and white colors of Juventus. He felt in love, thanks to Juventus, thanks to his idols, Del Piero, Roberto Baggio. Juventus is a team with the most titles in Italy and probably a lot uh, is in the top five elite clubs in Europe if we count all the titles that Juventus won. So I want to tell you, guys, put some respect on Juventus. Juventus has a big history with a lot of ups and sometimes a few downs, but every time that we felt on the ground, it was to start even stronger and to come back even stronger as, uh, as never. So guys, please respect Juventus. Now, I want to speak about Sassuolo Juve, but apparently the papers decided to not speak about Sassuolo Juve. What we will speak about? About Donnarumma. We will speak about the new eventual coaches for next season, because Pirlo has been confirmed. We will speak about Mercato. We will speak about all these kind of things. Remain on the channel, because Italian and international papers, that's what we will open to see what they are saying about our beloved Juventus. I hope after that long intro this time that you put a maximum of like guys, maximum of likes, subscribe to the channel Gazzetta dello Sport. They are putting Gigio Donnarumma on the front page with also a big number 90 above his head. What is the 90? It's the million that Juventus eventually, if we are not going into the Champions League, could lose. That's a drama financially, but not only financially, but also because certain players that we were attracted to and maybe already in negotiation will probably not arrive if we don't reach that Champions League. Speaking about Donnarumma, hey, guys, if we open Tutto Sport and we see inside, we see that now Donnarumma, he wants to play the Champions League. That's something that he always said. If Milan goes to Champions League and Juventus not, will we see Donnarumma to Juve? I have no idea. Probably not. Let's see what will happen there. But we continue with Corriere dello Sport. Juve nel incubo. Juventus is living a nightmare. And this is a reality. At the moment, everything that can go wrong is going wrong. Luckily, we still have three games of Serie A and a final of Coppa Italia to play to maybe change that nightmare in a dream. But it will be really, really difficult. Speaking about Inter, are they doing better because they won the Scudetto? Apparently not, because apparently Zhang, the president of Inter, he asked all the players to give up two salaries, two mensuality, so two monthly salaries, and the players said, no, we don't care, we want our money, we want our money, even Bastoni, uh, they are promising him to renew since so many times, they don't have money, so they are waiting, and the agent of Bastoni uh, is saying, hey guys, if we don't renew, then we will see what we will do, same for Conte, so they are not in a better situation than Juventus at the moment, Tutto Sport, and now we go 100% with Juve News, Tutto Sport saying SOS Juve, uh, we have problems and we need some help. So what are the problems that they are speaking about? The first one is Gravina, the 
president of Lega Serie A, who is actually threatening Juventus. We are used to the threats at the moment because Ceferin with UEFA, now the Serie A, they are all threatening Juventus. They are, I told you already, eh? we will speak about Juventus every single day in not the good news, but the bad news. And now they are saying if Juventus, before subscribing to the new Serie A 21-22, are still in that Super League project, they will not be part of Serie A. <laughs> I want to speak about serious things, guys. I want to speak about serious things and not about threats about uh, Serie A Gravina because uh, uh, Serie A without Juventus, we already saw the consequences in 2006. Serie A lost a lot and probably forever their best league of the world. Will they commit again the same mistake? I'm, I'm doubtful. I'm really doubtful, but I want the threats to stop. Now, uh, what about uh, the three clubs that remain in Super League, Barcelona, Real and Juventus? They are saying that uh, hey, they are waiting. They are waiting for the sanctions of UEFA because at the moment there, there are no sanctions yet they are speaking threatening but there is nothing official why are they waiting because from the moment that they are waiting they will probably go into appeal in a court and then UEFA it's clear and everyone is saying UEFA doesn't want to go there because probably they are not really acting legal let's see what will happen with that one but yesterday Elkan and Agnelli uh, they were together not alone they were with Cristiano Ronaldo after the stadium after that uh, Elkan John Elkan saw the game together with his cousin uh, Andrea Agnelli they were yesterday were going into the, the house of Ferrari to see the Ferrari, to have a visit there. They are more united than ever. And this is what gives me actually a lot of faith for the future of Juventus. Juventus will never be alone because we have the property all together, guys. Yesterday they were there, uh, they were watching and uh, uh, yesterday they were also speaking about uh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo, an affair. Why was he there? Why was he there watching Ferrari? instead of going to train guys guys stop stop the controversy Ronaldo was there because a lot of players were there to show that we are united Juventus is probably having a disaster season yes but we are there and I'm asking all the supporters to stick together instead of insulting Juventus show the love for Juventus show me the love this is what I want speaking about the future coaches they are speaking about Zinedine Zidane Gattuso and Massimiliano Allegri the three are in the run for Juventus who will it be i don't know what i said is uh, what i know for sure is that nedved yesterday he spoke to the cameras and he said cristiano ronaldo will stay pirlo will stay is it actually 100 percent true that pirlo will stay also next season depending on the result we will see but there is another name another name mihailovic sinisan mihailovic and you will probably say that i'm crazy but look at that small video Try not Klopp, not Allegri, not Mancini, not El Tactico. Ah, El Tactico, yes. Uh, Mihailovic, it's there, but it's not my ideal solution. Eh? But I would not say no to Mihailovic. I am not against the Mihailovic in the future. I don't know what will happen, but. Mihailovic, he has some skills. I don't know why. Maybe I'm crazy, but Mihailovic in the future, why not? Why not? And now, uh, about the management, Paratici still didn't renew his contract. If he will not renew, if he stops his contract, we have already Cherubini that is ready. I made a video about that one year ago together with Mo El Tactico. I will put the link if you want to see and who understand who is Cherubini. It's a really interesting video. Elvin is speaking about the game versus Sassuolo. Luckily, there is someone who is speaking about it because apparently Buffon will start. It's not a reaction about the bad game of Chesney but, or a punishment for Chesney. No, it was already planned, but apparently he will start the game. What about Mercato? If it is a Europa League, Tutto Sport is saying Cristiano Ronaldo will leave and then it will be full power on young players. De Ligt, untouchable, he will stay at all costs. And then Moise Keane is a priority for our striker. Let's see what will happen there. And then Fantasies. Radio, Cat Radio Cataluna, a uh, Spanish paper, was speaking about a possible sp swap between Pjanic and Rodrigo Pentancur. Mamma mia. I don't know how many fantasies people are uh, dreaming about, but uh, it is what it is. Guys, I hope you liked that video. Don't forget, maximum of likes, subscribe to the channel. If you want some talks tonight at JB World on the Twitch channel of Juventibus, so twitch.tv slash Juventibus, you can see me with amazing guests tonight. So see you tonight for certain, otherwise for other people, see you in the next video. Grazie, forza.
Juve.